Aloha everyone, this is the Galactic News, my name is Galit and today I'm going to talk to you about the new moon in Capricorn. The new moon is going to take place on December 23rd at 2.17 a.m. Pacific time. This is the last new moon of 2022. Now what's interesting is that it is the second new moon in Capricorn in 2022. We had the first one uh, on January 2nd, 2022, and this is the last new moon. So in a sense, it is symbolizing something. We started the, the year with the new moon in Capricorn, and we're ending the year with the new moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn is kind of encapsulating this year. What's more interesting is this is the last year of Pluto's transit, major transit, uh, through Capricorn. Pluto has been transiting Capricorn since 2008. And so this year is a wrap up of Pluto. This is a major wrap up because next year, 2023, Pluto is going into Aquarius, which will create a major shift in consciousness and in our lives in the way we've never experienced before. So I think, and also I want to add one more thing. Mercury is going to go retrograde soon on the 29th in Capricorn. And we're going to end 2023 with Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. A lot of Capricorn is showing up. And I think this new moon is symbolizing kind of the idea why all this Capricorn is showing up. So let's unpack this full moon and then tie it together to all that symbolism about Pluto last movement in Capricorn. As you can see, the sun and the moon are at one degree Capricorn, 33 minutes, affecting anybody with cardinal signs between zero to five degrees cardinal signs. What's very interesting, well, first of all, the sun and the moon are meeting to create a new beginning. New moons are all about setting intentions. So set your intentions, whatever you want. What do you want to manifest? What do you want the universe to provide you with, especially in Capricorn? What is Capricorn? Capricorn is usually the ruler of the 10th house. Capricorn is an industrial sign that is interested in results, in practical results here and now. Capricorn wants to achieve. It is a very practical sign. It wants long-term planning, not just short-term. It is interested in creating something substantial. It is interested in creating some heritage, some, some legacy to the reputation that it had accumulated through its life. It's the wisdom that Capricorn brings. It's the father figure. It's those hierarchy structures that Capricorn is interested in. That's true that Capricorn is also interested in boundaries. However, those kind of boundaries that Capricorn is bringing to us are helpful boundaries because if we live in chaos, we cannot produce results. We cannot create anything in the matter because we think that everything matters in the same way, which it's not. So Capricorn has hierarchy of priorities. And by having that, Capricorn allows us to achieve results. So if you're interested in results, this is the new moon for you. Because this new moon, look how many planets we have. We have the sun, the moon, Venus, Mercury, and Pluto in Capricorn five Capricorn planets. That's a lot of Capricorn energy, especially that Venus is right there together with Mercury saying, you know, the way you think now is results oriented. The way you want and value thing is through your results. So if you put in the efforts, if you put in the work, this is the promise of Capricorn. If you show up and you step up, and you do the job, you do the work, you will get results, long lasting results. Those are not short term results. Those are results uh, of the kind that will build your new platform uh, and make you solid to move into the next version of yourself, to the next step for you in evolution. So what is it that you want to create? This is the time. Set up your intentions, put in the work, show up. It will be there. The results will be there. Not just that. We have the sun and the moon squaring Jupiter. Jupiter just went into Aries. It moved away from Pisces, entered Aries. It's at zero degree Aries. Now, zero degree Aries is a critical degree in the zodiac. It is the first degree of the zodiac. 
And whatever happens in zero degree Aries happens to all of us as a collective, but it's somewhere in your chart as well. But it's an important degree saying Jupiter is starting a new cycle, a 12 year new cycle saying it's time to step up. It's time to own your identity. Who are you? It's time to be courageous. It's time to expand. It is time to grow. It's time for abundance. It is time to be courageous own yourself become who you are this is why you came here and that square it's a good square because square is always about tension so what is that square between capricorn and aries it's a cardinal square take action that's what jupiter and this new moon are doing for us they're saying it's time sometimes you know the best use for astrology is to know timing and when to take action. This is loud and clear saying, take action now. Although the ruler of Aries, which is Mars, is still retrograding until uh, January 12, I think. But still, it doesn't really matter. The actions we'll take right now will build upon uh, this trajectory, this uh, movement forward. This, it will help us do this velocity in order to implement whatever it is that we'll implement through next year. So it's such an appropriate time to set intentions for 2023. And even beyond that, this is ushering us into 2023, which is a great momentum. It is building momentum for us, but it's setting intentions even for further uh, into the future saying, what do you want to become in your life? What kind of reputation do you want to have? Capricorn, all about reputation. What kind of reputation do you want um, to have in this life? What do you want to be known for? What do you want people to say about you when they present you? All those thoughts are totally valid right now because any step you take right now will put you on that pathway, on that journey towards what you are becoming to be. Sky is the limit. Don't limit yourself with Jupiter in the mix. Let's not limit ourselves. Let's think big and, and grand, right? Jupiter gives us that ability to think really grand thoughts. So go for it. Set your intentions. And may this be an amazing, amazing new year for you, starting very soon. If you, if you enjoyed my video, please like it, please share it, please comment. I would love to hear from you. And as always, take care of yourself and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.